Okay, we're going to take a look at the fill command. I'm using it kind of manually without a system generated. Um, so either on the working sheet or draw in view, you start the fill command. Of course, it works fine um, as long as the entire boundary uh, is within view. And then um, if you try to use it uh, when that's not the case, you'll get this message. And um, the message is a little misleading. Um, the order that they describe um, is a little bit off. Uh, what you need to do is simply start the fill command uh, and then immediately fence. And then you can zoom in to a very particular area and then click. Um, and that, that works. And that is the workflow. So if you needed to do another area, you would need to um, fence again, uh, zoom in and click. Um, fence again. zoom in and click. So not horrible, um, but you can also use this trick. If you go to view, you can do, if you have just one document open, it works nicely. Um, new window, and then you see we have two tabs and you can arrange. Uh, I'll do a vertical arrangement. So over here we'll uh, maximize and so start the fill command and um, you can essentially select without all that zooming um, you can kind of come in here and, and pick and you would come over here and fence again and uh, maybe I'll pan over and click again so it's just a little more convenient and zooming in and out. And uh, to do the pan, by the way, I just held the middle mouse button down. Um, so you do need to still, you know, fence the entire boundary, but then you can you can come in here and just grab uh, little areas. So there we go.